Recently, I upgraded from the slow, ugly, original 3DS to the new Monster Hunter 3DS XL. It's so beautiful. But Nintendo did not make this easy for me. It's as if they never even accounted for people upgrading the 3DS. Did they? So I got myself the new 3DS XL because for one, my 3DS was really slow and playing Super Smash Brothers on it when the screen zoomed out, all the characters got really tiny and they were hard to see. That is a game that was made for the XLs. And it's been four years since I've gotten this old one, so time to upgrade. And hey, if I'm getting a new system, you damn right I want it to be a special edition one that's as beautiful as this. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little reluctant to get a new 3DS because I was afraid that all my stuff wouldn't transfer over. Most importantly, I have 509 street passes that I didn't want to give up. Well, I guess that isn't really important. They don't really mean anything. But they mean something to me. Since I was an early adopter of the original 3DS, I had those 20 Ambassador games digitally downloaded. In the early days of the 3DS, these games weren't linked to an account. They were linked to the system. So if my 3DS broke and I had to get another one, I was shit out of luck. Since then, they've fixed this for the most part. Nintendo's whole account system is seriously flawed. Trying to transfer everything over from the old 3DS to the new one reminded me of when I tried to log into the Wii U for the first time. I have never had such a hard time setting up a console. Yeah, and especially like modern consoles with all these logins you have to do. And so yeah. this was a nightmare. It, it said you need to connect, you need to update the system in order to uh, log into your network ID. Yeah. So then we update the system and it says you can't update the system without logging into your network ID. And then, yeah, and then it just says the other thing. And then it just does it over and over again. Loops. To transfer everything over, the first thing you need to do is open up your brand new 3DS and set the whole thing up. Type in your name, your date of birth, today's date, the time, your region, all that garbage. This is a complete waste of time because you're transferring everything over anyway. When you get a new Mac, one of the first things it asks is, hey, are you transferring anything over from another computer? That way you don't have to go through all this setup bull When you're done with all that crap, both systems need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. Then they both need to be updated. Then, when you're finally ready to transfer everything, it formats both systems. So if there's a problem with the transfer, you lose everything, there's no backup. When the transfer was complete, it said that I had some DSiWare that was on the SD card of the original 3DS. I didn't know that I had any DSiWare on there. I guess a couple of my ambassador program games could have been classified as DSiWare, but they weren't DSi games. Regardless, it couldn't transfer this DSiWare over Wi-Fi. It actually asked me to take the SD cards out of both systems, put them into a computer, and use the computer to transfer the data over. There's two problems with this. One, why the f couldn't I have just done this to begin with? And two, the micro SD card in the new 3DS is inside the case. So I would have to turn the system off and unscrew the back. Anyway, I did not do this. And the 3DS never said transfer complete. It just leaves you locked in the settings page and you can't back out to the home screen or anything. So I had to just take a leap of faith and restart the console using the power button. And remember, it formats both systems. So if I turned it off in the middle of the transfer, I would lose everything. When I turned it back on, it looked like the transfer worked, except that None of my downloaded games were there, not even Monster Hunter, and that came with the system. So I had to go into the eShop, go to re-download games, and click on each one individually to re-download. If you click download now, it locks you into this download screen so you can only download one thing at a time. The best option is clicking download later. This allows you to download 10 or so titles while the system is sleeping. When you wake the system back up later, all of your games should be there in the form of gifts that you have to unwrap one by one by one. When you turn on your new system, we should ask, hey, what's your network ID? And then it downloads everything attached to your account like goddamn Google. The problem is that Nintendo is such an old company. There are people who have been there since before they even made home video games. They're also a very Japanese company. If somebody has an idea, it has to travel all the way up the totem pole. And if one of these old people doesn't like it, it stops at them. So it never gets to the people who actually need to hear it. They don't really seem to have a grasp on how the internet works or how they can optimize their network for a better user experience. But other than all of that, the 3DS is great. Does Nintendo even want people to upgrade from an older 3DS to the new one? 
Well, of course they do. They didn't even include a freaking power adapter with the console. They're pretty much banking on people upgrading. So fix your sh What do you guys think? Am I overreacting? Does Nintendo need to fix their network ID situation? Do you have any experiences like this? Leave it in the comments below. Add me on Twitter, all of this other social media garbage. Once again, the most important things that you can do is subscribe and please share this video with a friend. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week. My foot is asleep. Have you seen this before? Uh, read that, read no. that to me. I can't because it'll sound super racist, but I know, Marty, you gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Doesn't he look <laughs> absolutely terrifying? <laughs> he does. Guys, remember when we put out three villains in a Spider-Man movie and it did oh. us in the ass? Well, I figured it out. They We're gonna secretly allude to six villains yeah. in the next Spider-Man <laughs> movie. It.